Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's been a weird few months and definitely a few weeks uh, for all of us. We have seen the ravages and impact of the coronavirus, COVID-19, on uh, pretty much the entire world at this point. Uh, it uh, clearly has shifted things in many ways, some of them predictable, some of them unpredictable, and no one can predict what tomorrow will bring, uh, what a week from now, a month from now, I mean, literally tomorrow, no one has no idea uh, what we'll be seeing. You know, obviously, the, the comic industries have uh, been impacted greatly by this and um, could absolutely need your help in the days and months ahead. Um, so I want to just do this video about what you can do to help the comic industry and, of course, what we'll be doing at Graphic Policy, both on our website and here on YouTube. A lot of initiatives. We've been talking about it uh, uh, with the team to really figure out how we can help. Now, for you as fans, as readers, as comic buyers, um, everyone is is suffering in the industry, from creators to publishers to distribution to the stores themselves. Every single one is uh, is impacted in different ways. Creators are losing projects. Projects are delayed. That's money not in their pockets and money they desperately need. Uh, publishers are having issues even printing books, let alone distribution, getting them out there. Uh, distribution generally has shut down. The major distributor at Diamond has uh, halted things for numerous reasons, some of them good, some of them bad. But I think all of it understandable. And stores themselves, while some are open, uh, others are completely shut down while uh, it seems like a good chunk of them are in between uh, only being able to offer things like mail order or curbside pickup. So it's a uh, very strange times is the, the best way of putting it. And there's many ways you can help all of them right now. Uh, many publishers have ways for you to purchase their books directly from them, from their websites. Creators themselves, follow them on Twitter, follow them on uh, Facebook, whatever, social networks. Uh, go to their websites, purchase books directly from them. Um, that would help them a ton and probably have the most impact directly for creators. Stores themselves, check on your local comic shop. See if they're doing curbside pickup, see if they're doing mail order, and take advantage. Uh, just because there are no new comics going on today doesn't mean there's not new comics for you. Uh, every single day you could probably buy a comic and, and read something new that you've never read before and not run out until really at the end of time. Um, there's that many comics produced uh, uh and probably that many that you haven't read. So just because there's not new weekly comics doesn't mean there's not new comics. And um, that's part of what we're going to be doing here uh, at Graphic Policy. Uh, we've got a lot of initiatives going on. There's got some cool things coming on the website itself. Um, so lots of suggestions of books you should be checking out. Um, we're going to be doing theme weeks here right on YouTube. There's going to be some fun stuff um, discussing various publishers, uh, reviewing books we might have not reviewed before and uh, giving you links of where you can purchase them. Uh, we also have got some really cool columns coming up on the website itself, so go check that out at graphicpolicy.com. Uh, but more than anything, comics are not dying. Uh, comics have never been stronger than they are today. Uh, we've got an amazing plethora, amazing diverse uh, amount of comic books out there. Uh, from a wide variety of creators, wide variety of voices, uh, that you can check out. You can get them physically, you can get them digitally, you can get them any way you want. Uh, there is an amazing amount of digital comics and web comics that are out there, something that we'll be covering more on our website. Webtoons is a great example with some of the top name comic creators that you might know uh, releasing materials on that site is one example. Of course, you've got Comixology uh, uh, that's got new releases every single week. Um, forget you know the main publishers. They've got indie comics that are out uh, that can absolutely use your support as well. So keep in mind, even though there might not be your normal weekly releases, it doesn't mean that there's not new comics being released or new comics in general that you can check out. We're going to take advantage. We're asking you to take advantage uh, with us. So we're going to do some really cool stuff in the uh, weeks ahead, days ahead. Starting this Monday, we're going to be kicking off 
our first publisher spotlight. I'm not going to say who. We're going to have a video on Monday uh, for you to check things out. So look forward to that. As always, thank you so much for your support. The comic industry needs you. Please get support them in any way you can, and we're going to do uh, everything we can on our site to do so as well. There's a lot of charities being done, a lot of ideas being thrown around right there. Uh, we'll be right there helping support them. So as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, keep it geeky.